This is Artifacts of Mars, and this object in the lower right hand corner of Curiosity Soul 317 has caused quite a stir in the UFO Mars community. Uh, some are saying that this is an electrical cable. I would disagree with that. There's no evidence that this is any kind of electrical cable. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go over it now. I'm going to, uh, I can show you the original photo if you like after, but I'm going to get started because I don't have a lot of time. Here's what I found. I uh, brought the brightness and the contrast up, shadows down. Uh, you can see that on the right. So, what is this thing? Well, what I found is, and give me one second, I'm going to uh, use the drawing function on this. Okay. There's an object, part of it. Essentially what we have here is a sheath. Uh, it goes over something else, which I have been unable to identify. And there's something else. Uh, my guess, looking at this, to me, it looks like a stem, to be honest. An old stem. This would be kind of like, you ever seen old vines? Uh, that type of thing. Uh, grape vines. You might, you might see, you know, see thing, the bark splitting off from it. I think that's what we have here. This is clearly is not an electrical cable on the rover. As if we look down, wish I could get my arrow straight. If look down there, you can see the underside of the sheathing, and the sheathing goes over like that. Whereas this other, well, it just did something asinine that I didn't expect. This actually is pretty straight, so it could be a pipe. I don't know. That's my big dilemma here. Is this artificial or is it a uh, plant? And I don't have an answer. But given that it's kind of straight here, there's a good chance this could be artificial too. I'm not ruling that out. It's not part of the rover. That's poppycock. I don't know who came up with that, but... They all had their mouths washed out with salt. This is like a pipe or something that goes across and leads down a pipe or maybe a plant stem. I can go either way on this one because... But then how do you explain the sheath if it's artificial? I don't know. Uh, one thing it is not, however, is a part of the rover. I think we can rule that out pretty easily. Okay, I'm going to escape out of, on out of here. Now, if you take a close look at the sheath here, uh, we can contrast up a little bit more. You can see patches of green on top of the sheath. And that looks like that uh, ubiquitous moss that I'm seeing everywhere. See, when you see this fuzziness, that means it's not a solid object. Fuzziness, if you ever photograph plants, is uh, pretty indicative that you have uh, plant vegetable matter there. If you look at right at the edge, you'll see a fuzziness where you can see through part of it and part of it you can't see through. 
That's an indication that there's a mossy like covering on this. I don't know, my money is on... I would give this 70, 30 odds that this is a plant like a old vine or something and 30% would be something artificial that I don't understand. It's not part of the rover. That is... I just don't understand why people are seeing uh, that's part of the rover. That makes no sense. In fact, I'm going to uh, bring out my response to that. Hang on. That is bullshit. Okay, now I got that on my system. Let's look at a couple other things. This is not an electrical cable. It's not part of the rover. That's utter BS. Alright. I just want to look at this rock. Uh, it's pretty easy to see the shell-shaped um, fossils in this thing. I mean, how many do you need? Well, of course, they're completely ignored by the press, ignored by NASA, ignored by most researchers. And I am sure this is like a layer, so it may not even count. I'm not even sure, to be perfectly honest. There are plenty of rocks with fossils in these photos. I mean, they're replete with them. Um, we have some anomalies on here. Probably some plant growth right on this rock here. Show you what I mean. Like right there. There's some areas of interest and some fossils. I think there's a f probable fossil. So it's an interesting photo in and of itself. Even without that uh, one anomaly. And again, here's some more. Oh, I've been seeing the fossils right along in these photos. They're not hard to find. But if you're the mindset where you're going to sit there and dismiss everything, then there's no way to win. I mean, if you're going to dismiss it no matter what it looks like, then you can't uh, make any headway on anything. The dishonesty is what I can't stand. I am being honest with you. As far as I'm concerned, there are artifacts, structures, plants. But this this thing is pretty clear. I think it's a plant. Probably old and dead. And where the uh, bark is split off. That's what it looks like. I'm giving that 70-30 odds on that one. Not that I'm an odds maker, but just to say. Now well, that's about it for this photo. Thanks for watching. <coughs> uh, remember, you are not being told the truth about Mars and about a great many things. There's life there. There are artifacts, there are structures, and possibly even a civilization. Probably living underground, of course. I am Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching. This has been Disclosure from the sunny plains of western New York State.